Hello everyone and welcome to the New Tech TriCaster TC1 Get Started Training. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to deliver your productions to your viewers. Now first, let's take a look at the output configuration of the TriCaster. You can configure that by clicking the gear icon in the bottom corner of the preview or program window. Now there are four mixes to choose from, which you can have assigned to your program switcher, or Program Clean, which is the same feed but with the DSKs removed, or the preview window, or each individual input, media player, mix effect, or buffer. Next to that, you can choose the audio source you wish to follow that mix and set it to either the master, your auxiliaries, or a specific input. Now, mix one is always going to match the session output that you've set up, but mix two, three, and four can be set to down convert to different resolutions. Now below those, you can assign streaming encoders one or two to echo what we have assigned on mix one, two, three, or four, along with configuring the audio to match that corresponding stream. Next, let's take a look at recording. You can configure the recording of your TriCaster by clicking on the gear icon next to record in the upper right hand corner of the screen. From here, there are four isocorder recording channels to choose from. You can assign those to either mixes or to local SDI sources. Beneath that is an area for you to record to external devices and by that what I mean is if you're using the input of say an NC1IO or another TriCaster, as soon as you put a check mark next to that, when you hit record, it'll start recording on that device. And you can also record an MP3 of any input channel or output channel. Now to start your recording, simply click record, and as you can see, all of the recordings will start simultaneously. Another way to distribute your video is through web streaming. You can access this by clicking the gear icon next to stream at the top of your screen to open the streaming configuration window. Now the TC1 features two streaming encoders that can be configured independently of each other. That means we can have streaming encoder 1 set to be mix number 1 and then streaming encoder 2 to be completely different with a completely different set of audio. And now column number 1 I can stream out to Facebook and YouTube where I'll have encoder number two being streamed exclusively to Twitter, Vimeo, or just to a file capture. Now to set up your encoder, let's click the gear icon next to one. And from here we have multiple presets to choose from, from low, medium, high, and echoing the session. You can also set your resolution to be a custom resolution, like a square for example choose from multiple codecs, bit rates, and frame rates. And then you can configure your second streaming encoder completely differently from the first one. Now you can set up your CDNs by clicking the gear icon next to those. From here it'll allow you to sign in and choose a channel you want to stream to depending on which CDN you choose. You can also choose additional CDNs under our preset list with commonly used CDNs like Microsoft Azure, Ustream, Twitch, etc. Or you can set up your own custom CDN if you don't see it on the list. So you can type in the information manually or you can import your settings from an XML file. Now when you're ready to start streaming, simply click the streaming icon at the top and away you go. Now the next way to distribute your content is through publishing. For that, you can use the export function. Click on the gear icon next to export, and you can directly publish to social media, FTP, and other destinations. You can also use this to transcode your files into different formats using different encoding or bit rates. After that, simply select export media, and then grab the clips that you want to export, 
Now you can trim these clips right from the export media window by clicking trim at the bottom of your screen, scrolling through the clip and selecting your ins and out points. Now once you have your clips trimmed up, you can add comments to each of them and select the preset you wish to export with, click export, and you're off and running. Now you can close this window and export will continue to run and you can still switch your show. Well, that about covers it. Now, this is just a basic overview of getting you started using your TriCaster TC1. So for more in-depth information, be sure to review our user guide off of our website, www.newtech.com. We also offer more detailed tutorials on our ongoing series, Tuesday Tutorials, which can be found every Tuesday on Facebook or archived on YouTube. So thank you for watching and have a good show.